नमस्कार गुड इवनिंग यू वाचिंग लाइव वायर एंड आई एम स्वाति जोशी टू सेपरेट ब्लास्ट्स विद इन एट आवर्स इन उधमपुर ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर हैव सेंट सिक्योरिटी ऑफिशियल्स ऑन अ हाई अलर्ट इन द वैली द फर्स्ट एक्सप्लोजन वाज रिपोर्टेड अराउंड 10:30 पीएम लास्ट नाइट एट एन एम्प्टी बस पार्क्ड नियर अ पेट्रोल पंप व्हाइल द सेकंड ब्लास्ट टुक प्लेस एट अराउंड 5:30 एएम दिस मॉर्निंग देयर वर नो कैजुअलिटीज बट टू सिविलियंस वर इंजर्ड इन द फर्स्ट ब्लास्ट ऐसा लगता है कि इंप्रोवाइज्ड एक्सप्लोसिव डिवाइस है और हाई एक्सप्लोसिव है जो शुरुआती जांच पे पता चला है तफ्तीश इस पे जारी है अलग अलग मॉड्यूल्स पे हमने जो पिछले कुछ महीनों में काम किया है उसी किस्म के मॉड्यूल्स का की हरकत लग रही है दो लोग जख्मी हुए हैं दोनों को माइनर इंजरीज हैं दोनों आउट ऑफ डेंजर हैं टाइमर की संभावना लगती है According to the initial investigation a highly explosive material was used terrorist organization Lashkar-e-Taiba is suspected to be behind the bomb blasts Desperate attempts are being made by Pakistan and Pak proxies to destabilize peace in Jammu and Kashmir late last evening a one woman identified as Zaitun Akhtar she along with the four kgs of improvised explosive device uh, was recovered from her position she has been detained the questioning is going on right now they are trying to find out for which terror outfit she had been working whether she was a part of any sleeper cell or module so investigation and interrogation of that a woman is going on it, this is a very big attempt in fact uh, from the terror side, terror side that they are trying to target the border town of Poonch uh, district already we have seen that the two explosions have rocked here in Udhampur area right now i am here in Udhampur bus stand and let me ask my video journalist to pan toward the bus and you can see the impact of the explosion that took place to the morning at about 6 am now let me uh, show you here is the bomb disposal squad of uh, indian army they are trying to investigate properly matter they are here with a sniffer dog and besides this jammer has also been placed because they are trying to block any kind of signal and these two explosions have took Place uh, just ahead of Home Minister Amit Shah's visit because Amit Shah was initially uh, his visit was planned on 30th of September. There are some people here with us. क्या पैगाम देना चाहेंगे ये लगातार जो पाकिस्तान ऐसी हरकतें कर रहा है ये एक पैगाम है पाकिस्तान को कि अगर ऐसी हरकतें करनी है तो अपने देश में कीजिए हमारे देश में घुसने की कोशिश मत कीजिए हम पहले भी एक थे हम आज भी एक है और देश की सुरक्षा जब बात आती है तो हर भारतीय इकट्ठे हैं पहले भी आज भी और आगे भी इकट्ठे रहेंगे धमाका ये काफी जोर का था क्योंकि आगे पीछे वाले जो लोग हमसे मिले हमसे बात की उन्होंने कहा कि हमारी बिल्डिंगें काम गई और धमाका इतनी जोर का था कि आगे पीछे के जो दुकानदार जो अभी सुबह सुबह दुकानें खोली थी वो एकदम दहशत में आ गए कि हुआ ये तो पक्की बात है कि इस तरीके की एक्टिविटीज कोई हमारे देश का तो करेगा नहीं ये तो भारी ताकतें हैं जो हमारे देश को हमारे जम्मू कश्मीर को कमजोर करना है We have some breaking news coming in. The NIA team, in fact, has reached the blast site. Now, the NIA is probing the Udhampur blast, the mysterious blast that took place. Uh, Times now is getting you live visuals and updates from the blast site. We have Pradeep Asir, a reporter, joining us from the site. The NIA has taken over the probe now. In fact, the team has reached the spot. What's happening, Pradeep? Yes, short while back, national investigation team they reached Dobil, where the first blast took place. Short while back, they were also here, and they collected evidence from this bus. This is the bus uh, which was um, where the explosion took place. It was at about 6 a.m. today morning. Uh, uh, explosion took place inside the bus. They are trying to find out what kind of explosive material has been used. Since morning, I had been interacting with the senior police officers and other investigating officers. What they said uh, that it was a high-intensity explosive, improvised explosive device that was used. They suspect role. of lashkar e toiba module and let me show you the condition of the bus right now this is the place actually where the id was kept and you can see the impact of the id how it has devastated the bus it has almost devastated the uh, rooftop and you can also see the body of the bus is also completely mangled not only that the glass is shards are completely shattered here on road uh, the police and other people are still deployed here and the front glass of the bus is also uh, damaged because of this explosion reason is that amit shah home minister is mm. about to visit this jammu and kashmir in coming days on fourth he's going to have address a grand rally at uh, rajori then on the fifth he's going to right. uh, address a rally in north kashmir area in baramla mm. that means the terrorists are trying to make their presence felt they are trying to once again boost their sacking morale reason being mm. many of the top
trying to make their presence so, felt. Of course, given the uh, fact how agencies have been eliminating their top commanders. Pradeep, stay on with us. We have some breaking input coming in. I'll come to you for more details on that. Two suspects, in fact, have been picked up by the police for questioning in the Udhampur blast case. That's the latest that we are picking up in the twin blast case that took place uh, one Blast happened at 10.30 p.m. last night and another blast took place at 5.30 a.m. this morning. Pradeep, uh, you can share more details of the development. Two people have been picked up by the police. Yes, uh, they are leaving no stone unturned so far as the investigation of this explosion is concerned because they are trying to apprehend whosoever they feel is responsible for this attack right now. What we have been told by the sources is that two suspects have been picked up by Jammu and Kashmir police. They are trying to investigate matter. Many more suspects are expected to be picked up by late evening. So reason is that they are trying to properly investigate this matter. They feel that there is an overcrowded network because they, this overcrowded network is someone who is providing oxygen to ecosystem of terror because they do not want to confine their activities only uh, towards uh, uh, the Kashmir zone. They want to spread tentacles in Jammu region too. They want to target Punchai Rajori district. They want to target Udhampur area. Why Udhampur area? Udhampur area, it's a very sensitive zone. It's a garrison town. We have got a Northern Command headquarter also. Let me show you here. See, look at the condition of the uh, bus here also. And see, it's a, it's a gar garrison town here. And, uh, and here the population population is mostly Hindus. By carrying out explosion, basically the idea was to inflict maximum casualty. And by inflicting maximum casualty, they were further trying to widen fault lines between Hindus and Muslims. And they think that by just uh, creating such a situation, uh, they can achieve their target because they know they can't match Indian army or Indian forces or police personnel. Because most of the time we have seen that they can't survive for more than one hour to two hours uh, during encounter. That's one of the reasons uh, that now these uh, uh, terrorists are going for either shoot or scoot attack or they are using this sticky bomb or improvised explosive device to mm. inflict maximum casualty. And here, uh, right now also you can see let, uh, this devastation, this clearly narrates the whole story. This tells the whole story. What really has happened during this twin explosion that was carried out by Lashkar Toiba module. So right now two people have been picked up by the police. Their questioning mm. is going on. They feel that there are many more people who are involved and they feel Absolutely. that in they fact, are the, the one uh, yes. who had provided them logistic support. Yes, in to fact, get the, in fact the ADG also hinted at uh, the involvement of a module that they have earlier investigated or earlier have worked on. Pradeep, thank you very much for uh, getting us those details. In fact, just Within two hours of the incidents uh, that took place, a woman was also arrested with four kgs of IED in Punch. Security forces are identifying the source of the explosives and the terror organization she is working for. The incidents occurred just days ahead of the visit of Union Home Minister Amit Shah starting 4th of October. The three-day visit of the Union Home Minister has been postponed for three days with uh, Amit Shah now scheduled to arrive in Jammu next week to address the two rallies. Let's move